Hey, this is Chris here. Listen, I, I just want to know, uh, are we so, um, a Christian, as a Christian, are we so in love with the world that we don't realize and we can't see what is going on before, what is happening, what is the things that are happening? Listen, I, the, the Senate just recently passed the Defense Authorization Act. They're going to send it to the House and they're going to come with the compromise measure and then they'll send it to uh, the president. Who said that he would veto it? But the only reason why that he wants to veto it is because he says that he does not need the authority of Congress to put the military on the streets and to pick people up what they consider domestic ter terrorism. Do you not realize as Christians, can are, are we going to continue to set back and let these things happen? Uh, the, the recent information, if you have not paid any attention or looked at it, the FEMA camps, they're, they're, they're getting things set up. The paperwork's there. Look on our Alex Jones Info War and look it up. The recent, recent information about the FEMA camps. Uh, a subsidiary of Halliburton has just recently sent out for a bid, um, to man these camps within 72 hours. I mean, you, Look on Alex Jones. Look on his channel, InfoWars, and look this information up. People, please. Are, are we as Christians, are we going to stand back and let these things continue to happen? Am I talking about violence? No, I'm not talking about violence. But I'm talking about stand up for our rights. Stand up against these people that are trying to take the rights away from us as American citizens. Listen, I am a conservative I have been a conservative Republican. I have voted pretty much every election I voted Republican. And every single Republican senator voted for this bill. I'm disappointed, man, in that. I, I mean, I'm still a conservative, but my eyes have been open to a lot of the things that's going on. You know, you take, you take Obama. I mean, he's just falling right down the path, doing the things that they want him to do. America, please open your eyes. Are we going to allow them to do this again in America, to have concentration camps and again where they can just pick up people? If uh, whoever, if it's a Republican sent, uh, Republican president or a Democratic president, if all of a sudden they decide that, uh, just hold up a minute, man. If they decide that you are a, a, a domestic terrorist, my God, are we going to let this happen? You know, it doesn't make any difference. Somebody told me that, uh, well, I can, I can, I can go with this law because I don't want terrorists to have a trial. I want them to be, uh, they should be picked up with indefinite suspicion. Uh, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a foreign terrorist. What I'm talking about is us as American citizens being to be picked up by the military. Uh, held indefinitely, without a trial, without any charges, just because they decide that uh, you may possibly be a terrorist. Gosh, this is concerning people. I do realize we're in the end times, but do we just lay back and, and don't say nothing and I say, well, these things are just going to happen. This is just the way it is. No, we don't stand back and just let things happen. We stand up for the principles that you believe in. We stand up for the principles that uh, this country was founded on, you know, uh, the security. I mean, gosh, you know, I'm not for sure who the founding father was that said this, but uh, uh, if we give up our freedoms for security, we deserve neither. Benjamin Franklin, it just come to me. America, please, Christians and Americans, anybody that cares about their fundamental rights as Americans, please stand up. Call your congressman. Call your senator. Uh, tell them that you do. They're going to just, they're going to find some kind of way. Roger Wicker, my congress senator, sent me a letter out and told me that, uh, that they had something in there that this could not happen to American citizens. I'm telling you, they're doing it. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out that it's going to happen all of a sudden. These things are just going to come to a close. We're right in the middle of possibly a major war in the Middle East. And I look in the next year, the American dollar is, is not looking good. I just want to warn my friends, my family, anybody that may would listen to this, please, let's stand up. Let's don't let this happen to our country. Let's just don't let these things happen. 
call your congressman, call your senator. You know, if they pass this bill, uh, gosh, we should be we should be on the uh, uh, we should be on up up there protesting this some kind of way. Let's don't let this happen. Hey, I thank you for listening. That, you know, I I just want to open people's eyes. You know, anything that I've said in this video, you can research it for yourself. You can follow it up for yourself. Uh, Japanese Americans, already we had internment camps during World War II. Nobody was charged with anything. They picked the people up. They put them in the concentration camps. Those people, were some of them had been American citizens for over 100 years. And in the Japanese culture, they're loyal people, and they continue to fight for their country. And uh, I, I know America has apologized for this, but please, let's open our eyes and look. Hey, thank you for listening.